Welcome back to the channel. In today's update, we're over the HS2 works near Sutton Coalfield, focused on the complex junction area in Water Orton, one of the most ambitious pieces of infrastructure within the entire project. From overhead shots to detailed time lapses, we'll break down what's happening on the ground and why this area matters so much. This site is known as the Delta Junction, a massive convergence point where the HS2 line splits in multiple directions. It's effectively the spaghetti junction of the high-speed rail, allowing trains to branch past towards Birmingham Curzon Street while also continuing north towards Crewe and eventually Manchester. Located near Water Orton, this location acts as a bridge between the West Midlands interchange and the wider UK high-speed network. Over 10 miles of track, embankments, bridges and viaducts are being built here, many of them captured in these shots. Bridges are a major part of this landscape, not just for rail, but for the local road network. Over a dozen bridges are being constructed or upgraded in the Sutton Coldfield area, to cross roads, rivers and other rail lines. The River Tame and the Birmingham to Peterborough freight line are just two obstacles being crossed. The viaducts here are designed with both performance and noise mitigation in mind, using specially engineered bearing and acoustic barriers. This site is one of the busiest outside of London. Multiple compounds, batching plants and logistic hubs are operating here day and night. More than 1,500 people are employed across this zone, many of them local. These time lapses show a critical phase, placing heavy steel beams into place, secure them over track structures. Each beam can weigh over 40 tonnes and must be precisely aligned. It's a slow and technical process, but one that's essential to future service and reliability. The 2D bird's eye view here shown from the scale of those platforms, reinforced to carry high speed trains at over 200 miles per hour. Look closely and you'll see the retaining walls, culverts and track bed preparations in progress. Materials are brought in via designed haul roads to avoid disrupting public traffic and sustainability targets are being met using electric machinery and low-carbon concrete mixes. HS2 has faced heavy criticism over environmental damage, especially in the areas like the Chilterns. But here in Sutton Coldfield, we're seeing some efforts at environmental compensation. New ecological corridors are being formed to support wildlife movement. Attenuation ponds and wetland systems have been installed for water runoff management and thousands of trees are being planted as part of a landscape restoration once major work is complete. Despite progress, HS2 remains controversially local. Residents surrounding villages like Coldshear, Water Orton and Lear Marston have raised concerns about noise, loss of countryside and long-term impact on property values. Efforts have been made to minimise disruption, including temporary acoustic barriers, road realignments, but for many, the construction has brought years of inconvenience and to some hardship. Work in the Sutton Coldfield Corridor will continue into 2026, with track laying, signalling installation and viaduct completion all going ahead. Once operational, this section will enable up to 18 trains per hour to move through the West Midlands. This junction, though often overlooked, is a vital cog in the machine, a bridge between Birmingham and Britain's wider future rail ambitions. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this drone-led breakdown of HS2 progress near Sutton Coldfield, don't forget to like, subscribe and leave your thoughts in the comments. I'll be back soon with more aerial updates from across the route.